August Biniaz with Real Estate Investing Demystified. We're here in Salt Lake City and we're with John Chang with Marcus and Melichap. It was great listening to you on the stage. Uh, well, tell us what's going on with the market, John. Well, we have a lot of things going <laughs> in play, right? We have uh, the higher inflation. We have the Fed who just met uh, with the Senate yesterday uh, and Chairman Powell said that they may be having to raise rates more. All of these things are going to have an effect on the commercial real estate market, but I think the investment community, once we adapt to these rapid changes, uh, we'll start to see the momentum start to revive. Got it. And you, you know, we talk about inflation, we're talking about increasing interest rates, we're talking about a commercial real estate. Are most purchasers sitting on the sidelines? How you've seen the kind of the deal closing numbers, you know, yeah. plummet. What's happening right now? Where are you seeing the market? Yeah, we've seen a lot of investors move to the sidelines, especially over the second half of last year. When when the interest rates rise so quickly, it's very difficult for investors to recalibrate their financing, recalibrate their underwriting to move towards their higher cost of capital. So hopefully, as we see the Fed take a more leisurely pace with rate increases, investors will be able to adapt to the market more quickly. We do expect investors to start coming back into the market over the course of this year. There is a lot of capital on the sidelines waiting to come back in. And as those investors start to come back in, we're going to start to see the normalization of the pricing. We have to wait for the sellers to recalibrate and raise uh, the cap rates reduce their prices, but at the same time, the buyers are going to have to have realistic expectations about what those prices are going to come to and really come in with some real investment uh, bids. Got it. And continuing on the same conversation, now you've been through a few cycles mm -hmm. in real estate to say that, you know, that's an understatement, but what do you see happening? Now, commercial real estate, you got multiple asset classes within this ecosystem, but focusing on multifamily. People need homes. It's not an office space. It's not, you know, retail. It's uh, it, it's something that people need homes. America is becoming a renter's nation. But I think there's over 43 million rental unit units throughout the U.S. Do you believe that, you know, after the Fed slows down because they can't keep increasing rates, they got their own, uh, you know, uh, they, they got their own debt that they got to pay debt service on, and it's 30 trillion dollars. So. When the Fed slows down and starts bringing rates down, do you think there's going to be a flood into the market? What do you think is going to happen at that juncture? And when do you think that's going to be? Well, there's a lot in there, but the the high inflation rate caused a lot of issues, right? So a lot of uh, the uh, households that would have formed were slowed down. Uh, consumer sentiment dropped off and as a result, vacancies have risen that's impacted the nois that's uh, impacting the revenue of the of the assets uh and that's affecting values at the same time the higher interest rates are creating uh challenges for investors when they're buying because they have to pay more for their debt capital now the interest rates have been rising uh but inflation has been coming down and so as we look forward, as the Fed starts to slow down their rate increases, we can see more capital coming back in. We can see those prices recalibrate over the second half of 2023, and we should see that momentum revive. Ultimately, over the long term, we still face a housing shortage. Okay, even though vacancies went up for last year, even though home sales have slowed down, that isn't to say that there isn't need for the housing, it is simply that sentiment fell so sharply that people were afraid to form a new household. As that sentiment comes back up, as people are feeling more comfortable with where inflation is, what the Fed's doing, then we're going to see those households form and we're going to see that absorption of apartment units continue to rise over the coming years and we're going to see those numbers move back into alignment with where they've been. Got it. Fair enough. Now, you guys are your clients. Uh, councils, you're their advisors, you're their guardian in some cases. Uh, and let's talk about the elephant in the room. Are there distress deals right now taking place? Are you seeing that with some of your clients? And what is your advice to clients who are in distress territory? Yeah, so we don't see a lot of distress happening yet. We do know that some investors got out over their skis. They took variable rate financing that they uh, didn't get a cap on. They have uh, purchase properties with exceptionally aggressive underwriting. 
they're going to have some problems and some of those deals will come back out on the market. Some of those investors could lose uh, a lot of money on those deals. But there is a large pool of capital that's out there that's ready to snap up those assets that are going to bid those prices back up. So we're not going to see a severe distress cycle in this instance. We're going to see the market normalize those rates. I have spoken to a lot of investors who have hundreds of millions of dollars in capital to place right now and they're simply on the sidelines waiting for a little bit i think there's a lot of deals to be had right now they think there's a lot of opportunities for the investors who are willing to get out a little bit ahead of the crowd and really capitalize on the market last question for you john you know we're at a best ever conference a lot of new syndicators uh, obviously a lot of people a lot of experience but a lot of people trying to get into this space what would be your advice to a newer firm or somebody starting out who's looking to enter the multifamily market or another commercial real estate asset class, what should they do right now? Is it is it a stay on the sideline and be safe? Is it be opportunistic? Is it that arbitrage between their cap rate and interest rates? What is the advice? Well, investors can make money in the best of markets and in the worst of markets. Okay, this is, you, you, can, you can win even when things are going against you. Okay, so don't, uh, you know, there isn't one size fits all solution. It shouldn't be everybody on the sidelines. I think that there are tremendous opportunities right now. I think that investors who are active and they get out into the marketplace and really understand the asset, the sub market, the metro, the data that's driving the operations, the data that's opera, uh, driving the market, they can make a very good investment right now. But you have to be a student of the business. You have to understand the nuances. Okay, over the last several years, values have risen very quickly. We've been in a low inflation climate, we've been in a low interest rating climate, and quite frankly, the tide has lifted all boats. Now, we're going to see expertise win. We're going to see the people who really understand the assets and the markets and how to create value, whether it's through management, operations, through redevelopment, whatever it is, people who can create value for those properties, those are the ones who are going to deliver the best results over the next year. Getting ahead of the bulk of the money that may be on the sidelines will open some opportunities that may, many may not see. Uh, once we see that wave of capital coming back in, prices are going to get bid up quickly, and that's where it's going to get tough again. Thank you, John. Really appreciate your time. Hey, you can let our viewers know what's the best way to connect with you. Absolutely. You can reach me on marcusmillichap.com. We just released all of our 2023 investment forecasts. You can follow me on LinkedIn, John T. Chang on LinkedIn. Uh, I supply information to the marketplace on commercial real estate every week. Thank you again. Much I appreciate it.